Hello guys, welcome back to the new video. In today's video, we will talk about Cisco virtual stacking on 9500 switches. Virtual technologies allows the clustering of two physical switches together into a single logical entity. The two switches operate as a one. They share the same configurations and farming state. Figure 1 graphically represents the stack-wise virtual features which allows you to manage two Cisco Catalyst 9500 switches as a single switch. In today's lab, we will use two Cisco 9500 switches, three LC to LC fiber patch cord, and one console cable. We will connect port number 14 as a fast hello link and port number 15 and 16 as a SVL link that is called switch virtual link. Just remember that the switch virtual link is used to send control plan and data plan traffic between the two switches. So this is a high speed high bandwidth connection. So if your 9500 switch has a 40G port, you should connect uh, your SVL link on 40G. The dual activity action links are used to detect switch failure. So the standby switch can assume control if needed. Lower bandwidth but high speed links are used. In my case, I have a 10G ports. So I am using uh, two 10G ports for SVL link and one 10G port as a dual active detection link. There is some prerequisite for Cisco stackwise virtual configurations. Number one, both switches in the Cisco stackwise virtual pair must be directly connected to each other. As you can see in the last picture, I have connected uh, switch one port 1516 to switch two port number 1516. That is SVL link, switch virtual link. Second is both switches in the Cisco stackwise virtual pair must be of the same switch model. Third one, both switches in the Cisco stackwise virtual must be running the same license level. Fourth, they both should have same iOS running. If iOS is uh, different on both switches, you cannot configure virtual stacking. The last and most important, all the port used for configurations are stack virtual link SVL link must share the same speed. Let's start our configurations. I already connected the console cable to switch one. Uh, let me tell you the configuration is pretty easy. First you have to configure the stack wise virtual domain and domain number can vary from 1 to 255. You can keep any number but but both switch should be member of same domain number. After that, you have to configure the switch virtual link that is called SVL link and after that you have to configure dual active detection. Let's change the host name, switch one. Configure the stack wise virtual domain that I will keep number one. After that, you have to configure the interface for the SVL link. I am using 10G port number 15 and 16 for SVL. Oh, sorry, I forget to write 10. Okay. 10, 1, 0, 15 to 16. So stackwise virtual link 1. Okay. And after that, I have to configure port number 14 as a dual active detection. 10, 1, 0, 14 and uh, stack wise virtual dual active detection so same configurations you have to make on switch number two let me connect the console cable to switch two to make the configurations on switch two enable config t host name switch dash two stack wise virtual domain one domain number was also same on switch one after that we have to configure svl link 15 and 16 stack wise virtual link one now we have to configure the dual active detection link that is 1014 stack wise virtual dual active detection 
our configurations is done on both switches. Now we have to reload the switches. After the reload, the switch should work as a stack. Physically, we have a two switch, but logically they will work as a single unit. Here we have to wait for to complete the reload process. Once the reload is completed, we have to run some verifications command to make sure our configurations are okay. Our reload process is completed. Now we can start our verification. First, we have to run show switch command. We can see here we have two switches show switch. Yes, you can see here we have two switches. After that, we have to run show switch virtual dual active detection. We should have a port number 1014 and 2014 part of this yes it is okay and after that we have to run sh uh, show switch uh, virtual link you can see that uh, the status is up and running after that we have to check the show switch virtual bandwidth you can see here the bandwidth is 20g because of the stacking let me show you the dual active detection link again after that uh, you can see the virtual link 1015-1016-2015-2016. So if you run command show virtual neighbors, you can see that 1014 port connected with 2015 and 1016 connected with 2016 and vice versa. So our configurations are okay. As for per the confirmation we have made through the show commands. If you have any questions, you can ask me on the comment section. Thank you for watching. See you soon in the next video.